I, I wanted to do a refresher, just in case there are any new listeners out there. Uh-huh. Uh, so I have five kids. Yes. Eleanor is roughly, say, 19 months old. Uh, something like that. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, roughly about 19 months old, 20 months old. And as, and as my wife and I have said, uh, numerous times, she is a terrorist. Yes. She she is she has taken over this family. She started throwing fits lately, where she wants something, and if she doesn't get her way, she starts throwing a fit and like screaming and crying and like hitting the floor, like the, the like a typical a yeah, like a toddler, toddler does. Tantrum. Yeah, she's throwing toddler tantrum. Have you have you tried beating her? Oh, nice. Yeah. With a with a with a with a with a, with a big stick. No. It's in the Bible. <laughs> it is in the Bible. Look, what I have So you could totally do, do it and it's good with God. Beat the what shit I've, out of her. What I've considered doing to her is a Thor Ragnarokinger. her. Yeah. Just get like a tiny disc and put it on her neck. And then whenever we want, we can just shock her. Oh, I like that. Yeah. We just start Thor Ragnaroking her. Yeah. Okay, this is what I do at school. When the kids start doing that, I walk away. I walk Why? away. Yeah, but shocking her is, is shocking her is so much more fun. <laughs> you could hook that up to the And they clapper. could do it. They are the, the parent. I can't do that, but yeah. They could do that. Jesus, Eleanor. Ooh, she's throwing stuff. She's so upset. No. In the crib. Shut the door. Amber, do your magic. So that's our youngest. (laughs) (laughs) Really fun time. Yeah. Uh, My son is named Maxwell. He is six years old. And... Well, we've been getting a lot of new listeners now, especially since I've got like a following on Twitter and and this and that. Love me. They get to see how dysfunctional we are. Yeah, they get to. It's about time. Yeah. Eleanor, look at me. So I asked my son what he wanted me to say about him. I said, Maxwell, what do you want me to say about you in the podcast? So Maxwell told me to tell the podcast that he knows everything oh and that is just like a six-year-old boy i I, I go in better because i knew i already knew that so i knew him more than he did (laughs) i maxwell told me to to say to the podcast that he knows everything okay yeah that that is just like that is just like a six-year-old bella is 12 and uh I love her. She's going through that phase where she's almost a teen, but she's not yet. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very proud of her. The other day I, I went up to her and I told her, Bella, I'm proud of you. And then she just rolled her eyes and said, why? And I said, let me tell you why. Yeah. Because you're at an age where 80% of 12 year old girls are trying as hard as they can to be just like all of the other 12 year old girls they're trying really hard to be 19 too yeah but bella is her own person oh definitely there is there is no other bella out there and i'm really proud of her for that you know yeah a lot of 12 year olds are just i'm into whatever everybody else is like did you see that thing ashley was wearing i'm totally getting one of the mall like today yeah yeah, but Bella is Bella is Bella. I'm really proud of her for that. She's amazing. Hey, I and think it's that- and it's and it's been fun watching her go from a little girl because, like, when we started this podcast, she was a little girl, tiny thing. Yeah, talking about president, yeah. talking about President Buckethead. And stuff yeah. Like that. yeah, to 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 growing into a tween like she is. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think I really lucked out in the child department. Then, pause for effect. Yeah. 
there's the teens. The teens. I wrote that in italics. <laughs> you would have to. As of uh, September, we'll have three of the teens. Three? Yeah, the- there's another on the way. <laughs> no, Bella's going to be. A oh, team. yeah. True. Okay. Yeah. We'll have three of the teens. So, right now we have two of the teens. They're both 16, but Amber is a wee bit 16 year. Yeah. 16 in June. And wow. I, I have really had to come. I, I have really had to come down on Amber hard lately. Yeah, for what? Amber has just been challenging me. Oh, to duels? Amber has, Amber has just been scoffing at me and my authority lately. <laughs> and so I have had, I have really had to put the foot down. Yeah. Not the foot. For example, last weekend, Amber came in with her boyfriend and she had something in her hand and it was like she was sneaking it into the house. Yeah. Like she thought I wouldn't see it, you know? Yeah. So I stop her. I stop her right at the door and I go, Amber, what the fuck are you bringing into my house? (laughs) And she said, what are you talking about? And I said, that. What the fuck do you think you're bringing into my house? And she goes, oh, this is just Norbert. (sighs) Norbit. 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 The, 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 just, the Dilbert dog? No, no, no. Eddie Murphy's Norbit. Oh! <laughs> Put down. I, you mean, what the bring fuck? It, you, you know, you think you go and you think you raise them right? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> think you have like good kids that won't make yeah. mistakes, and the next thing you know, here comes your. Your one of your daughters with your with her boyfriend, and what are they doing? They're watching Eddie Murphy movies. Oh. God, why can't you just have sex and no, do drugs no, like what? normal teens? Here's the thing: you knew, okay? It was a gateway movie. It was a because gateway she movie. Let, no, because she yeah. likes the Grinch. Oh, God, the fucking the Grinch. Grinch. And that was a gateway movie. Now she watches Eddie Murphy films. I swear to God. Okay. I swear to PSA. God. Keep your kids off the couch. I love I, I swear to God, if you watch the ca- Mike Myers' is Cat in the Hat movie in this house, you are out of this house. I, I swear to God. You are you will be out of this freaking house. You bring that you bring that on my kids. Don't you put that curse on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> in my house, she does this. How dare she? I, I'm 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 shocked. I, I'm Put I'm outraged. Up. I am outraged. Be back in your room right now, okay? You better hide it under your bed like any healthy teen would. Yeah. So then, so then she's sitting down with her boyfriend to watch Norbit, right? Yeah. And then Amber asks, uh, Dad, can we have some of your popcorn? <gasps> can you believe the nerve, the gall, the some third thing? The some th- the damn some third thing. No. So then I, I told I her. So then I told her, no, Amber, you can't have the popcorn because that's the popcorn that uh, that we bought specifically for me to have while at work. Oh! oh. Too soon, Amber. Too but soon. It, come on, but it was good to have to be able to pull that out. Yeah. yeah, can't believe it. Can't believe Amber challenging me like that. Insubordinate. <laughs> you done messed up, eh, eh Ron? 